-hmm. Okay, in este segmento, um, we've got what we call mi gente. In case you've never seen it, it's, it's, it's a little slice of the people that make up the Coastal Bend or represent the Coastal Bend. And, uh, you know, we've all heard the term living the dream, ¿verdad? Um, when someone is blessed to be doing what they truly enjoy. We say you're living the dream, right? Mm -hmm. For one Corpus Christi native, as to his dream has been his love of acting. We mentioned at the top of the show that he's appeared in more than 100 feature films, 300 plus television shows. He's also an artist, a motivational speaker, and to many of us who call the Coastal Bend home, a friend, mm -hmm. a friend to so many people. This man is beloved here, and if you've never met him, you need to figure out a way to meet him because he's one of those people que se da querer, que es puro corazón. Very humble. Absolutely. Very funny también. Exactly, he's got a sense of humor. Yes, he you. does. But in this segment of Mi Gente, we spend some time with our dear friend, Pepe Serna. This is, this is, these are my gicles, the enhanced gicles that are actual originals. We caught up with Pepe at La Cueva Art Gallery in Portland, where his work is on display. His unique, colorful paintings, each with a story to tell. And this is, you know, an old zoot suitor, you know, but I gave him my, my older brother's name, my mentor, Zeke, uh, Ezequiel Adolfo Serna, Bibi, also known as Bibi. Uh, he passed away, but he was, he was my, my mentor and coach. You could say Pepe is a storyteller, and so we begin his in his own words. The fact that I'm from Corpus Christi and born at the Naval Base in 1944, uh, in July I'll be 78, and I've been representing Corpus Christi everywhere I go. Exactly where Pepe has gone is the stuff dreams are made of. You see, Pepe left the sparkling city by the sea for the glitter of Hollywood. But that was the early 60s, at a time when acting roles for Mexican Americans were almost non-existent. When I got to Hollywood, there were only about three or four of us and we had to all fight for the same bone. Pepe's first role was at age 19, appearing as a bullfighter in a movie titled Jacket of Blood and Gold, which by the way was filmed in Corpus Christi and Nuevo Laredo. Since that time, Pepe's filmography has been nothing short of amazing. Some of his motion picture credits include 1983's Scarface as Al Pacino's ill-fated cocaine partner. He gets his arm cut off. The Western Silverado in 1985 with Kevin Costner. The crime movie The Rookie in 1990 starring Clint Eastwood and Charlie Sheen. And the drama American Me in 1992 starring Edward James Olmos. In the five decades of his career, Pepe's characters have played everything from drug dealers and thugs to law enforcement. Now, Pepe has produced his own story on film. In a documentary, uh, Life is Art, you will see uh, uh, not only the, my filmography of the movies that I've been doing, uh, my first one, uh, uh, my first seven months in the Screen Actors Guild, I did five feature films back to back with one of the greatest producers of all time, Hal Wallace. Another notable film collaboration happened soon after that. I, I did a Western with Gregory Peck. Can you imagine? I mean, here, a Texan, getting to go to Hollywood and and what was it 18 months later I'm on horseback after Gregory Peck who had just won the Academy Award for To Kill a Mockingbird. The documentary is titled Pepe Serna Life is Art. It's currently being screened in markets throughout the country. Tejanos que viva Texas and que viva all you youngsters that, that have a dream just stop dreaming and start doing. That incredible good advice. Good job, Rudy. Good job. I love your segments of Mi Thank Gente. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, when you, because not only do you highlight people like Pepe Serna, who's internationally famous, but also local people here that we truly love here in our community. Um, and uh, one of the things that I, I love a lot of things about Pepe Serna, like we mentioned earlier, such a good man, so funny, very humble, uh, charismatic. Pero lo que me encanta de ese señor es que it doesn't matter where he goes, 
he's, he's proud of where he comes from, and he takes Corpus Christi, he takes us with him wherever he goes. Absolutely. Orgulloso el Señor de donde es. Truly an I ambassador. I love that. Truly an ambassador. And we want to thank our dear friends, uh, Gil and Gay Cuevas, uh, out in Portland. Uh, they're the owners of La Cueva Art Gallery. If you've never been there, you need to make some time and go check it out. That is an amazing place. The artwork that is on the walls. Si te gusta el arte, you need to go check this out. It's a little gem that's hidden in Portland. You gotta look for it, but it's there and it's worth the trip. If you've never been, check it out. It's an incredible gallery and it is just amazing. Gil and Gay are just two wonderful people who just uh, have gone above and beyond to promote art. And uh, they've got a restaurant there, they've got a little bar, they've got, I mean, it's just amazing. They've got a patio where you can go outside and eat. It's nice. just wonderful, but you know what? This is the stuff that they promote. They mm -hmm. promote our people, they promote our culture, they promote our music, they promote, I mean, todo. Uh, they're friends with uh, Henry, uh, uh, Henry Peña, mm. who was, is here overnight. He was spending time there with them yesterday uh, for an event that they had there. But you know, this is what we're talking about, promoting nuestra gente, nuestra cultura. It doesn't matter. Siempre. Uh, whether you're white, black, brown, Asian, it, it's who, the people who make up exactly. uh, our lives. And, it, and it's wonderful. It's just absolutely wonderful. So yay, hats off to, to yes. the La Cueva and La Cueva Art Gallery out there. So.